Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have not had a grocery haul all month, but it is the 15th of July, and so far this month we've only spent $52.75. Normally we have a budget of $300 a month for a family of four, but this month we're trying to lower it to 200 just because I'm not working, so we're trying to be extra frugal, and to do that we're having a lot of meatless meals, and we are definitely having a strict meal plan and we are eating up what we have already in our pantry all the canned soup all the boxed rice everything we've had just sitting in our pantry we are using it in our meal plan so it is keeping our grocery budget super low this haul is from Aldi so Aldi does not take coupons but their prices are super low and if you stick to staples you're going to save a lot of money it's cheaper than Walmart all of these items I'm showing you in my haul I've tried before and love, so I recommend them. Um, and it will help you save some money on your groceries. So today I spent $70.67 for the next two weeks of groceries. So let me show you what I got and what everything costs. And in the end, I'll share my meal plan. So we got orange juice for $1.99, unsweetened almond milk for $1.99 each. These mini bell peppers are, um, let me see what the size is. It is one pound and it was $1.49. The apples are red delicious apples. It was three pounds for $2.19, which I think is a great deal. For two of these zucchini, it was $1.02. The tomato was 48 cents. Um, the carrots were 89 cents for a one pound bag of baby carrots. I had the kids with me and they picked out these blueberries. They were a little more expensive than I like, $2.99 for one pint. But um, it is bigger than like the six ounce container. So it's not too bad, but the kids really wanted it. Also these grapes were $2.49. Um, I think it was $1.49 a pound. So definitely the kids make me pick up things I normally wouldn't buy. But if it's grapes and blueberries, I'm not gonna tell my kids no. If that's what they want for their snack, no problem. Um, I also got these two nectarines. They were $1.49 a pound. So these two came out to $1.21 for two. This romaine lettuce was $1.99 for three hearts of romaine. The cucumber right here was $0.48. Cents. This was $0.95. Cents. It's iceberg lettuce. I plan on cutting up both of these and mixing them together for our salad. Strawberries were $0.99 cents a pound. So I've got two. And then bananas were, I think, 39 cents a pound. Yeah, 39 cents a pound. So these bananas, I got five of them, were 74 cents. I got some peanut butter for $1.99. And then I also got this jelly for $1.99. Um, this one was a little bit fancier. There's not as much in here, but there's no added sugar. So I was happy with that. So I got this strawberry fruit spread. I really like using it. The kids don't like it. Um, Caesar croutons, these are 89 cents a bag. Back over here, I got some corn tortillas for tacos and these were 79 cents. I got this extra firm tofu, it was $1.39. I got four dozen eggs because I plan on making a bunch of like egg and potato and cheese burritos for my husband and I just freeze them and he takes them to work. We have a bunch of tortillas in our freezer from Costco so I'm gonna make a bunch of those. So I got four dozen eggs. They're only 92 cents a dozen, so stocked up on eggs. We'll be eating that a lot for breakfast. We also ended up getting a bunch of cheese. The kids love this string cheese for snacks. It's easy to take on the go. They're $2.19. I got this deli cheese. Savannah likes having cheese and crackers for lunch, and this cheese was $1.79 for eight ounces. This turkey is um, the kids' favorite and my husband's favorite. We'll make little um, Lunchables with cutting this up and make Lunchables or sandwiches, and it is $2.99, it is delicious. And then um, we got some cheese because we're having nachos and quesadillas and burritos and a bunch of stuff. So we got some cheese, we got this one, it was $2.59 for 12 ounces. And we also got Cheddar Jack, $2.59 for 12 ounces. The sour cream was 99 cents. This is the best sour cream, it is so good. And then this salsa is $1.99. It's the green salsa verde, and it's so good, not too hot. Um, this Parmesan cheese was kind of a splurge. It was $2.49. I could probably find this cheaper somewhere else, but I don't want to go to a whole other store just for one thing. 
but Scarlett loves this with her Caesar salad. She eats Caesar salad literally every single day. And then with that, we got the Caesar dressings, $1.29. I got these chicken nuggets to have on hand in case the kids don't like what we're having for dinner or we just need something fast to feed them because dinner's taking forever to cook or something like that. But these were $3.69. The kids also got to pick two treats. So they picked these cinnamon rolls. It was $1.49. And they picked these potato chips for snacks for the week. And these were $1.09. The kids love these chips. It was also time for coffee. This one we've never had, the Daily Basics. It is $4.99. Um, and then we got two of our creamers, the vanilla caramel, and they are $2.19 each. So yeah, $70 for everything here. Not bad. And let me show you our meal plan. All right, so this is our meal plan for the next two weeks. You can see at the top, last week we spent $52.75. Well, the past two weeks. Um, right here you can see we spent $7, $8, $7.75, and $30. So I just added that all up to there. And then this is what I spent today. So all together for the month of July, we spent $123.42 on groceries. So if I have a $200 budget, that leaves us $76.58. I don't even think we're going to need that. We might have to go back next week for some produce, but that's probably it. Um, breakfast and lunches are about the same. We have donuts at church on Sunday. Everything else is interchangeable. Those are just our options. Same thing with lunch. A lot of times we have leftovers or just throw together a quesadilla or a salad. But those are our options. We switch the days a lot, so it's not set in stone. Those are just our choices and what we have on hand. But for dinner, we have tempura shrimp with ramen soup. That's the shrimp we got at Costco in June, I think. And it's the last of it, so we're going to have that. We're also going to have the last of our veggie pot stickers with rice and veggies. Then we'll have pesto pasta, and that is um, a recipe I have on my channel. I will link it below. It is a great cheat meal. And quinoa chili with cornbread, I also have a recipe video for that, so I will link it below as well. We have waffles with fruit um, probably every other week, and it's a good way to use up um, that waffle mix from Costco. So cheap, so it's definitely a budget-friendly meal. And nachos also. Just throw some cheese on some chips, and you can add whatever else you want on top. Some beans or black beans, um, salsa, avocado, sour cream. Just load it up how you like. It's super cheap and super filling. And then on Sunday, we have leftovers. This was my list. I pretty much stuck to it, except... Instead of getting hamburger buns, um, we're going to be having turkey burgers tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. But instead of getting hamburger buns, we're just going to use our hot dog buns we have and just cut them in half and use them as slider buns. So um, that way I didn't have to buy one more set of buns. And then next week for our dinners, we are having fish and chips. I have the Gardein Fishless fish that I bought a long time ago at Target and I wanted to try it. It's just been sitting in our freezer so we're trying to use up everything we have on hand already, so we're going to have that. Then the next day I'm going to make that teriyaki tofu with rice and broccoli. And I make the teriyaki sauce by myself just with some, um, some cornstarch, some garlic, some ginger, soy sauce, and brown sugar. And it's super good. On Wednesday we're going to have pizza. We were going to do Costco and do a Costco run, but I really want to keep our grocery budget down. And whenever I go to Costco, I end up spending too much money. So instead, we're still going to have pizza. But I do mystery shops for Little Caesars Pizza in our area. So um, I get paid to go and purchase the pizza. I get reimbursed for the pizza. And I get paid for my service for um, going and filling out information about the restaurant and my experience and sending them photos of the food. So I do that a few times a month um, and earn some extra money through those mystery shops. So instead of Costco pizza that day, we'll just have Little Caesars pizza because it'll be free. Um, so that's a great way. Um, a lot of times we'll have that for lunch. On Thursday the 27th, we'll have spaghetti and salad because my mom gave us some ground beef and it's just sitting in my freezer. So I'll use that to make some spaghetti. And then on Friday, we'll have chicken tacos because I found a piece of chicken in the freezer. So definitely trying to use up everything we have. And Saturday, we'll have bean and cheese burritos and leftovers. So that is our meal plan for the next two weeks and how we're going to stick to a $200 budget. If I buy anything else for the month, I will let you guys know and I will post a little video. But like I said, next week, we'll probably just need to have a small little um, produce fill-in haul. 
So that is everything. That is all of our groceries for the next two weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked my um, tips that I had on saving money when you're buying your groceries. I have a couple videos about meal planning, shopping at Aldi, um, and how we do those two things to help us save some money um, and keep our budget low for groceries. So I'm all about having more money to use for other things and to stretch your dollars as far as you can. So even though um, Aldi doesn't take coupons, it is really good deals to save you some money. So thank you again for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another money-saving video. Love you guys. Bye.